from street art to front and center with hip hop royalty. You can find his influence everywhere. One of the most prolific American artists of the 20th century, Jean-Michel Basquiat, is now for the first time at the heart of a new exhibition organized by his family. It's one of the last works, if not la the last work that he painted. With more than 200 of his never before seen and rarely shown pieces now available for the world to see. And so this is the back of the home where his studio was. His work and his message is something his sisters, Lisanne Basquiat and Janine Harivo say, may now be more relevant than ever. Why now? George Floyd happened and kind of all of the events that transpired after that. And Lisanne and I decided it's the right time. To Do you think your brother's work has different significance given the current moment we're in right now? The fact that he was having that, those discussions 33 years ago. It definitely shows how much of a visionary that he was. Born in 1960, Basquiat quickly rose from a thought-provoking street artist to a highly sought-after painter before his death in 1988 from an overdose at just 27 years old. His unique talent nurtured at home. 90 percent of what you see in the recreation are actually the items. Our kitchen table is here. Our actual clock. An intimate look that art experts say is crucial. We see him on t-shirts, we see him on sneakers, but yet when we walk into a museum, we very infrequently see works by Jean-Michel Basquiat because there aren't a lot in public collections. It's a chance, his family says, to honor his legacy. And he had the courage to, to live life on his own terms with his dreadlocks, in an Armani suit, painting, and I think that's also part of what makes him such a, um, a legend. A legend the world loved, but perhaps never fully knew. Ooh. The King Pleasure exhibit begins this Saturday, April 9th, right here in New York City. And tickets are on sale through Labor Day, but will be extended because, as you guys can imagine, the tickets for this weekend, they're yeah. already sold of out. Of course. Yeah. yeah. Influenced hip-hop, but also rock and roll. La Lars Ulrich from Metallica had a huge Basquiat yeah. collection. Had a wow. beautiful piece called Untitled Boxer that he sold in 08 wow. that he had in his house. Uh, for like $13 million. Speaking so. of his house, you know that he actually rented his studio space from Andy Warhol? Wow. wow. For years. That was a cool shot of this. Really cool. Incredible. Definitely going to have to hit that in Brooklyn. Yeah, I got to check it out. Morgan, thank you so much. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.